Now, Southeast Iowa Sports from KTBO's CBS 3.2. We will continue our preview of the upcoming fall sports, but first we hit the golf course. Otoma hosted a Metro Conference Invitational earlier today. Here on the fourth hole, last year's state runner-up, Matthew Walker attempts to make this shot for Eagle, but just misses on the hole, and he eventually will have to settle just for par. Then on the seventh hole, Braxton Coble finds himself in trouble. He's downhill from the green here, but able, is able to hit a masterful shot, gets himself right up on top of the hole, and then he will have an easy tap in for par. The finals for the day include Walker, who finished with a 2 under 70 for the day, and Coble shot an 82. Otoma finished the tournament with a 311 and won the Invitational by one stroke over Indianola. Let's talk a little pigskin. Today's football team, the EBF Rockets. The Rockets ended the 2013 regular season at 6-3, and three, then suffered a state tournament loss in the first round to Clayton Ridge, 27-6. This year, the Rockets have a new coach. Russ Bayer comes in after being the defensive coordinator at Albia. In his first year, he knows what he wants to fix. We cannot let our guard down. We've got to keep our head up. We've got to keep fighting strong. We've got to stay focused mentally and physically. And that's some of the challenges I think we've got as a coaching staff to teach these young men that, hey, everybody makes mistakes. It's how you learn from those mistakes is the key. This upcoming year, the Rockets will have a first-year starter in Jevin Jensen stepping up behind center. Coach says the senior has never played quarterback, but he has faith in his abilities. The Rockets' season starts on the road against Pekin on August 29th. Let's move to volleyball. This time, we go to a team to the south. The Moravia Mohawks finished last season under 500 and missed the state tournament. The Mohawks do lose only one player to graduation. Abby Wilson had a serve efficiency of 91% and had 32 aces last year. Her departure leaves behind a core group of girls that are used to each other. Um, last year we lost one of our starters to a torn ACL and she's back this year. Um, this is our for first sport back so we're looking forward to having her back on the court with us. And um, like I said, I'm, I think one of our strengths this year is teamwork. They are, they are a really great group of girls and they work well together. Kendall Brown played only five sets before her injury, but the junior joins three other players in her class and four seniors. The Mohawks open up the season in a tournament in Albia on August 25th. And finally tonight, Indian Hills has filled the opening on its basketball coaching staff. Chris Burgess will be the new assistant coach on the first year coach John Wardenberg's staff. Burgess is a native of California. He attended college at Duke and he played two years under coach Mike Krzyzewski before transferring to the University of Utah. There, he played under coach Rick Margeris. After college, Burgess moved to start a pro career in Turkey in 2003. On accepting the position at IHCC, Burgess had this to say, Indian Hills is one of the top junior college programs in the country, and I'm impressed with the history and players here. I have a lot of respect for coach Wardenberg and feel like this is a place where I can learn a lot on my way to hopefully one day being a head coach. That's it for sports. Stick with us. We'll be right back. 